seven tips to help you fight your pornography addiction. You know, overcoming, breaking free from an addiction to porn and masturbation can feel like a daunting task. It could feel like something that you may have to deal with, struggle with, wrestle with, manage for the rest of your life. But I don't, I don't believe that to be the case. I believe that we have the ability to break free, break the chains of this addiction, transcend this behavior. So overcoming a pornography addiction is not about managing the struggles. It's not about managing our temptations. Real freedom is found on getting the other side of this addiction, becoming the man that is no longer addicted to porn. Now, I know that if you're struggling and you're caught up in this fight right now, it's probably something that you've been facing for a really long time. So in this episode of The Rebuild Man, I want to give you seven practical and helpful tips that help equip you with the tools, the resources, the belief systems, the people in your life that are going to help you in this journey and in this fight. Before we dive too deep into that, guys, I'm going to take a moment real quickly and remind you who we are and what it is we are doing here. My name is Coach Frank Rich founder of Rebuilt Recovery and host of the Rebuilt Man podcast. And it is our mission to help men become better men by quitting porn and rebuilding their life. So if you're new to the podcast, make sure to hit that subscribe button and leave us a rating, guys. Let us know how these episodes are helping, supporting you. If there's somebody in your life that is struggling with pornography addiction right now, do us a favor and do them the blessing by sharing this podcast with them. But seven tips, seven strategies that will help empower you to break free from the struggles of your pornography addiction. The number one tip is you have to change your mindset in your belief system from a can't to a can. I know what it can feel like to struggle with a pornography addiction for over two decades. I know what it feels like to look at this journey as if there is no light at the end of the tunnel, but not believing in yourself, not thinking that there is a way to truly transcend this behavior will keep you shackled to this addiction forever. So the first tip, man, is we have to change our belief system. We have to change our mindset from a can't overcome this to a can and will. I will do whatever it takes. I do believe I can become the man that no longer struggles with this behavior. Once you have that right mindset, tip number two is to begin to focus on your physical health. It's hard to believe that the impact with pornography has played a negative role to our physical health. But think of the time, energy, resources that are drained. It's hard to become your best physical version when you're struggling mentally. I understand this to be true. But if you can begin to prioritize and begin to work on your gut health, your physical health, for one, you'll be quickly will begin to build some confidence in yourself. Physical transformations are immediate feedback to yourself of the hard work, of the dedication, of the discipline, of the work that you're putting in. Oftentimes when we're trying to overcome a pornography, we may not experience and actually see the benefits of the work that we're doing, but seven days, 14 days, 21 days, sticking to a diet, seven days, sticking to a training plan, you immediately feel better. There's that positive biofeedback. You begin to look better in the mirror. Your clothes begin to fit a little bit better. So tip number two is to begin to prioritize and focus on taking care of your physical health. Once you got that in order, tip number three is to begin to establish some creative pursuits. What do I mean by creative pursuits? Things that are living inside of you that the world needs. Maybe this is finally launching that business. Maybe that is taking a step towards getting your side hustle off the ground. Maybe it doesn't look like something that you're going to do for a monetary purpose, but it's learning a new language. It's learning new physical skills. It's learning to play an instrument. There's something creative that is bottling up inside of you that the world needs. And every time you run to pornography, you waste that creative energy through meaningless pursuits of self-gratifying pleasure. 
So your pathway to overcoming this is going to begin to find that creativeness that lives inside of you and begin to unlock it. Begin to establish creative pursuits. Tip number four is scheduling and prioritizing your day. I've always said you want to go one day without looking at pornography. Schedule your day with meaningful tasks and pursuits that do not include pornography. Do that for one day and then repeat it for a second day and then repeat it for a week and then repeat it for 14 days. And here's why scheduling and prioritizing comes really important because you know the times of the day when you're most vulnerable and susceptible to relapse and falling into pornography. Make sure you are scheduling those times of the day to the minute by minute, hour by hour. Are you checking boxes on your physical health? Are you checking boxes on your creative pursuits? Are you checking boxes on your community? Are you checking boxes on your relationships? Are you getting the task done that need to get done? Tip number four is to schedule and prioritize your day. Tip number five is seek out and find the necessary accountability that is needed for you. And here's what we must understand about accountability. Accountability is not having somebody that's going to regularly check in on you. That's called parenting. You don't need a parent to overcome pornography addiction. Real accountability is knowing that you have a safe place to go to when you slip up, when you mess up, that'll help you process, figure out better solutions, and build a pathway moving forward. Your pornography addiction will not be something that you overcome all by yourself. So you must find the necessary accountability. And in addition to the accountability, this leads us to tip number six is getting in a supportive community. Isolation, loneliness right now is one of the biggest epidemics to our mental health as a nation and as a society. Somewhere between 12 to 13% of adult age men reports having zero close friends. When do you usually struggle with pornography? When you're alone, when you're isolated. So the pathway to getting out of this is going to be to get in a supportive, judgment-free community. And the seventh tip isn't one that I feel I should actually need to be giving you, but it's the one that I see most men struggle with. Tip number seven is radical honesty. Live in radical honesty. Tell the truth in every situation. Tell the truth about the things that you're struggling with. Tell the truth about the things that you want in this life. Tell the truth about the things that you know you should be doing and are not doing. Start with yourself. Extend it out into your community. But make sure that's an important part of your accountability partner's process to helping you. Seven tips, change your mindset from a can't to a can. Focus on your physical health. Establish creative pursuits. Schedule and prioritize your day. Find the necessary accountability. Get in the supportive community and walk and live in integrity by telling the truth in radical honesty across the board. Guys, if you're struggling with breaking this, I know what it can feel like to feel like that there is no way out. These tips paired with a clear vision will give you a framework to live this life out. So if you want help in crafting a vision for your life without pornography, visit rebuiltrecovery.com forward slash vision or click the link down there in the show notes below. I put together free training walking you through our five part process of helping men identify a vision for their life without pornography. Rebuiltrecovery.com forward slash vision. Check it out. But the seven tips paired with a clear aim Moving forward is what you're going to need to transcend, break free, and become the man that no longer struggles with a pornography addiction. God bless you guys. Coach Frank of the Rebuilt Man, we love you, and we'll see you in the next one.